Doesn't seem to matter what I do I'm always running through Bad ideas all the time Oh, why? I make Z's that I just can't explain So the world can feel my pain All my life been trying to fight So I'll get cancelled tonight Cause I'm just Sam I just boss baby as a man Is it my destiny to live and die a life of blonde fragility? I'm just Sam, I wish I was John, I'd have a plan What will it take for him to leave his home and move to L.A. with me? Yeah, it's Genius Bar, baby! Woo! Oh, baby, the Apple event is over! Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, Sam, that was beautiful. That was almost as beautiful as I am. Wait, did you dress up? Oh my god! Holy fuck! Do you like what you see? <laughs> Bro, I can't breathe. Sam. <laughs> the best Apple podcast on the planet, Genius Bar, has returned. You may have seen others, but you haven't seen this one. Sam, oh. um, so, uh, I'm feeling a lot of things right now. My hormones are a little crazy. Yeah. Um, I, I am stunning, though. I am absolutely beautiful. I will I say have, that. I on. have eyelashes. My lips are tinted. Like I'm beautiful. Hang on. I don't. Should I? Should I get closer so people can see like the beauty, the beauty oh that is God. me? How Why? is is how who let us do this? Okay. Well, Sam, he's the one who said, uh, "What was it? Like last week or something?" You were like, "I'm gonna be Ken," and then we just decided. Well, the only thing that could possibly make sense is that I am Barbie. Um. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever, after a popular movie comes out, tried to go find a costume um, last minute of said character. Yeah. They the did not have Halloween. Barbie costumes, so this, what you see here, is um, a wig. I mean, my real hair. Some uh, Halloween makeup that I have okay. tried to make look like makeup makeup. Uh, eyelashes that are beautiful, uh, and I'm afraid that when I try to take them off, my face will, the rest of my face will come off. And my pink dress is, um, a Powerpuff Girl dress. <sighs> you look beautiful, baby. Can Thank we give you. a round of applause for John Thank Prosser, everybody? Can, uh, can you play that again? Can you do the round of applause for, uh, your intro? I don't think... I'm, I think that's it. I don't think we'll ever top what just happened here on Genius Bar. I think that I think that's yeah. it. So oh, thank you, uh, you I thought, think we should announce good. last episode of Genius Bar. This is it because we, we it's not going to get any hotter than this. It's hot and steamy. It, <laughs> I'm trying to plug in my AirPods. Cause... Oh my god! I just realized how terrible this is for audio listeners. Audio listeners, YouTube.com/slash Genius Bar. I'm not even going to describe it. You just you're just going to have to go look. You're just gonna... yeah. You really. Yeah. What do you think? To say the least. Shoulder or cover? Is it, I don't want to show too much. This is just the most in This doesn't looking at you, I feel like this is a fever dream because Apple just held yeah. their October 30th very fast event. We obviously yeah. have so many thoughts and feelings that we are here to share today. And guys, if you could give us 5 stars on on the Apple Podcast Store, that would be great. Maybe and give us a like. 5 stars in your hearts. I just want to say, do you see the Waveform podcast doing this? No. No. Do you he see Vergecast doing this? Hell no. You see Luke Miani and Noah Rubin doing this on dark mode? No. See them. What do they say? They just say that's not what our that's not what we call ourselves, that's what our moms call us or whatever. When some yeah, something like that. That's the uh, intro. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. we went a little too far maybe. Now that I'm when you step back, okay, pretend that this isn't your podcast, right? 
just yeah. try to have like an out of body experience right now. Step back and mm. really look at what people are going to be watching. Wow. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. a lot. It's a lot to take in, really. Uh, but <sighs> yeah, Apple event We're happened. And uh, super spooky and super scary fast. It was indeed very fast. That was a scary fast event. Like they really, they met like it's just, you might be scared when it's over because we didn't release that much. Yeah, I should, we should have listened because earlier in the day, Tim tweeted, he said, no tricks, only, only tweet, treats, treats, tweets, treats. He said treats. Uh, And he really meant it. There was nothing... He, I think that was a heads up of like, hey man, just it's exactly what you think it is. Don't be too excited. We're not gonna, we're not pulling any fast ones on you. And they didn't. They really no. didn't. It was exactly as expected. Um, how do how what do we how do you what do you do now? What how do you talk about an Apple event like this? I I think this is the moment that the Apple event that we knew and loved is dead what does that mean sam these are no longer special they're just events what do you mean they're no longer dude you just we only had just we just had one kind of subpar event i just listen i'm not complaining i had fun Mm -hmm. i enjoyed it yeah i think they set the hype a little too high that's by just I'm... by just having an event for this at all instead of a press release? Having an event. They sent out snack boxes to people. They were promoting it everywhere on X. Like literally yeah. every ad I saw was for this event. And I'm like, surely they're not spending this much ad to just do Max. And well, we just got we just got Max. Which I'm not listen. Should we start? Where where do well, you where can, do... can my can I okay? Do does it at all feel as if maybe this was just them trying to have a little bit of holiday fun? Like maybe yeah. it was just supposed to be a fun like when you know when you when you know uh, when you're at school and you 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 got your teachers right, and sometimes you you pop in and you run into your teacher after school. You you know what I'm saying? Then you're like, wow, my teacher's kind of fun. You know, <laughs> this feels like that. Like it was just a break from the norm. Just our teacher having fun. You know, maybe that's, that's good, all it was. Yeah, it's like when you run into your teacher at a bar for the first time, and you're not 21, and they're definitely over 21. And you're like, well, you're not supposed to be here, right? Yeah, yeah, I can relate. Yeah, to that. This is how so I go you, into bars. I'm unrecognizable. Dude, I would I would say, I'd say what's up. Just saying, like, if you just saw me sitting alone, drinking a Bev, you coming to say hi? Oh, 100 P, I'm saying. You taking me home? I mean, I don't want to rush anything. I'm just saying. I don't know you yet, so I don't know if I can take you home. Maybe by the end of the episode. Okay. Are are your loins tingling? There's some condensation building up, yeah. All right, I like it. I have some condensation, too. Okay, great. Okay. (laughs) Um, This event was 33 minutes long. It Uh, was, yeah. Let me pull up Apple's uh, stream. We'll just skip through it, show some highlights because, I mean, at the end of the day, it was really fun. Oh, yeah. I got to like do a podcast now. Okay. Event. Uh, let me go full screen on us. They love enabling the subtitles by default. So, I mean, the intro was insane, right? It's a spooky night at Apple Park. The spoop levels were so high. And yeah, when I saw this out loud, I was like, whoa. This is awesome. Isn't it? Yeah. Obviously, the special effects are really good because they obviously didn't actually put fog everywhere in Apple Park. I don't know how they did this. Well, we we actually kind of got to look at how they did it. We'll get into that probably a bit later. But I mean, yeah, with the bats and stuff. Bro, it's so good. They really nailed it. Like, And then the only thing I was disappointed as is like, Tim Cook wasn't a, you know, I get he's a CEO. or He wasn't spoopy enough. But like. Come on. Like he's, I thought he just he's yeah. just dressed like he's gonna rob something. I thought for sure he was gonna come out like as Dracula, and then they're like, Tim, you, you gotta actually like do the event. He'd be like, Oh, uh, so he comes back as like I, I thought that would have been a fun bit. I don't think he's that fun. I wish he would have too, though. Yeah. So it, it opens up and Tim's just straight away he's like, We're gonna reveal new back with pros today. Well, he first said, he said good evening. We did say good evening. It's our first ever good evening. A lot of people were freaking out about this. I guess, yeah, let's try to play the audio. 
good evening. And good good evening. evening. He said it. We have proof that he said good evening. Um, and that was the start of Scary Fast, in which we got three M3 chips. For the first time ever, they announced M3, yep. M3 Pro, yep. and M3 Max at the same time. Yep. M3 Max. And, like, dude, the set design. We got for- everything but Ultra. I mean, dude, look at the set design for this. Like, come on. It's so good. And also, like, if you if you guys want to treat yourself, just do a second watch and just look for Easter eggs. Like, focus less on, oh, is there going to be something crazy? And more on just a little little be little piece of Easter eggs that they left us. It's so cute. Like there's a there's an iMac back there. There's an orange iMac back there. G three, right? Yeah. Dude, I maybe that's a TikTok I should make, like top Yeah. Easter eggs or something. That'd be fun. Um yeah, so Johnny, he was in. You could just tell as soon Bro. as I saw him, like he's ready to go. Yeah, he's yeah, he's very uh, festive for Halloween. He uh, like borderline talking like Dracula. <laughs> it was it was pretty sick. Um, so yeah, we get three chips. We've got M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max. All right, three nanometer architecture. Ray tracing is now on the Mac, yep. which is like, I mean, that's as expected, I, you know, but very welcome. Yeah, like that's a pretty nuts improvement. Um, yeah. They also mentioned that they added new media encoders, so I believe like watching Netflix and streaming will be more efficient on the chips. Huh. Right. Well, yeah. Th- well, to to even consider that there's ray tracing on the base model M3, right? Yeah, that's something that that's I think people crazy. Are really like. Uh, so they announced the chips. It's uh, I mean, they're pretty. For me, M3 and M3 Pro are good, but M3 Max seems like great okay and i say that because some of the improvements that they show for these chips they go a little bonkers when they start showing like the m3 max improvements and look like oh we got graphs I'm, this is kind of exciting to just see this graph Jeez, it's almost yeah. twice as fast at rendering what mm. is that like things i mean listen as a video creator that's what i like to see and i don't you you know me <laughs> that's I really like- what i like to see it is. And then, of course, we got the, like, it's half to power M1. Now, here's where we quickly get into some of my criticism about this event. Okay. You look like a man who's ready to criticize. Go ahead. They talked way too much and too long about the M1 chip and the Intel family of chips. Did you notice that? Well, Okay. At first, I wasn't. I didn't have a problem with that because it them mentioning Intel so often made me feel like they were about to replace the twenty-seven inch Intel iMac. That's it. Like there was language that they were using, and like they, you're right. They kept we're we're on M3 now. There's no reason to keep mentioning Intel. No. But they kept mentioning Intel, and it made me feel like they were about to replace their Intel machines. Like maybe if if not an iMac Pro. A new 27 inch iMac, but they didn't do that. They just like it, and without that, it it's just like, why did you even why mention it? Why say anything about Intel? Yeah, it seems clear they were really trying to market this event to the casual millions of people watching. Yeah, that's what that I'm saying. Might- like this, this is an event that people like when they're maybe when they're buying another iPhone, they're like, oh, I'm going to be loyal to them because they're fun. And I like fun companies and they, they mm-hmm. made a Halloween. I love spooky season. Yeah. It'd be cool uh, if this yeah. was a yearly thing. For me, like as somebody who is a tech freak, I was like, I really want to know just specifically, like how much is this M2 max compared to the M3 max? Because I, I mean, I, I don't know about you. I already got my order in. I have specked out to the gills. I won't say what color it is yet. We'll get there. Oh, yeah. I wonder what color you got. I wonder what color I would have gotten. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they do these charts. Um, yeah, here it is. Uh, it's a hardware accelerated for this stuff. And I believe, yeah, it's got AV1 decode, which I believe is for like live streams and stuff. It's more efficient. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, which is, I mean, that's, you know, it's a small change, but like that's what a lot of people were doing is consuming media. And that's pretty cool that they, that's, what that's just built doing, in at a baby. system level to the to the M3. Hair, I think they're so cool. bouncy and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we got M3, M3 Pro, M3 Max. Did you have any standouts from like this? Just the chip section of the keynote? Uh, I mean, it, if anything, it has me excited for M3 Ultra. 
Yeah. But I mean, I do. I mean, you could probably see a man spiral if you were on Twitter or X, whatever, because I was tweeting as it was happening. And the fact that we were 24 minutes in and they had wrapped up talking about MacBook Pros like they it was moving so fast. And for some reason, I thought or expected again, this is my fault, but I expected it to be a whole hour. And so when they were wrapping up so early on, I was like, what is coming? And they sped they they talked about the M3 chips all together. As like, and they kept calling it a family, obviously, but they yeah. they talked about the whole family together, and they were in and out. Like chip talk was over within minutes, and then we got onto MacBook Pro. Yep, here we go. Oh, MacBook he's got Pro. it ready. So then we get this, and we see, uh, well, we see the new MacBook Pros, and we as do. you can see, um, you know, initially they look pretty similar. You're like, wait a second, we those are the ones we got eight months ago. Yeah, <laughs> like, they is. Like I, I've seen these on an Apple keynote this year before, um, but it's in the dark. It still looks really cool. And I'm like, okay, what's going to happen next? Right. So then he unveils da, 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 the new M3. MacBook. There she be. And I was like, damn, no new fucking colors again. Like I was, yeah, I, I literally, so I saw this. Thought. I was like, man, that's really annoying. Like I'm going to have a silver MacBook. Yet again, I don't. Did you have the same thought when they showed this graphic? Like, this is it. This M three. No, I didn't. No, I figured it was like no. Mm-mm. Oh, really? Okay, because they I did a similar off. thing with Midnight too. Really? Okay, maybe I probably just don't remember. So we get this, and it's just kind of a general like, hey, this is what M three does. We've got advanced cooling, but you start to you start to get the picture. You know, I mean, right. there's some stuff like M three Pro is twenty percent. Fa- I mean, listen, that's still good right they're making a 20 percent improvement year over year that that's that's pretty insane right like that's a really good jump still i think people are kind of underwriting like oh m3 is just okay but I well, mean, you have to, apple's done this in three years they've done that in three years but also apple silicon kind of until sort of recently was having trouble with any competition so it's like there, there i mean there are people still buying m1 stuff M1 is a, like a normal computer is still perfect. Like the M1 exactly. Mac Air, if you want to watch videos and write papers for school, like that will get you through four years of college, no problem. They were so far ahead already that like, I mean, I, other than, uh, no, I, I'm going to take that back. I have never really felt limited by anything. I, and this is coming from a guy that, that edited on M1. I edited on, on that 20, the 24 inch M1 iMac. And yeah. uh, of course, like there were there were some times where I was like, okay, I could use a little something, a little something more special than this. But uh, I, yeah, I can't complain. Twenty uh, percent increases. I mean, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure people that don't use Apple Silicon or haven't like experienced it will criticize that. But I just don't. Uh, yeah. Don't, but I here's don't what issue. blew my mind the most: scene rendering. This is a 3D program yeah for renders and stuff cinema 4d yeah twice as fast as m2 max that came out eight months ago yeah and this is kind of important because there's i would say there are two areas where the m1 chips or sorry not m1 chips but apple silicon in general kind of fall short and it's gaming but that's been a mac thing and uh rendering and yeah just 3d artists can't really take it seriously yet even if they wanna. Yeah, I mean, as somebody who's working on a new video, working on something fun, new renders. You a you a YouTuber? You're working on a new video? <laughs> oh, a new a new video with like custom animations. Right, we're oh, working on a really really cool project that I am very excited for. Um, for a new iPhone, I won't say which one, but uh, basically, I I'm, I want to try some of my render work on M M3 Max because I mean, twice as fast as M2 Max. Mm-hmm. I remember trying Blender, and I was like, uh, no. But twice as fast? That's a lot. That's a I mean, whole lot. I have a 4090 in my PC that I use for render work, and so does Che Concept Central, my, mm-hmm. uh, who does the work. Like, And you know, that's literally the essentially the best consumer-level graphics card money can buy right now. It is yep. uh, the best one. And that, there's a reason that we, we've invested a thousand plus dollars each in it. It's because the performance is insane. It's really good for gaming. It's really good for that workflow. But like, man... 
I mean, I, I feel like by M5 or M6, it it kind of feels like they'll be on par with NVIDIA's like highest end graphics. I don't think M2, M3 Max will be on par with a 4090. I think it'll probably be close to like a 3090-ish, maybe a 4070. I don't know. I, I don't know exactly, but... I feel like it's... I, I feel like... Not that they're teasing us with gaming stuff, but it's like every time they mention gaming, it's like... It's it's one step closer Oops. that I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough where like just one of these years, they just absolutely unload on us and suddenly... Yeah. And I thought, you know, I thought that this might be the year. I thought that that's why we're having this uh, this special event in the first place, but it was not that. But then, John. But then, then Sam. We got it. We got the thing uh, that has actually gone viral. Um, I don't know if you've been on TikTok, <laughs> but I posted a reaction to this. Yes, and- I saw it. It was very good. Yeah. Yeah. People, you also uh, said some questionable stuff that it can be used against you. Should I should I play the <laughs> the reaction oh, on the pod? I saw uh, comments so, talking about uh, how they want it to be a sound because uh, yeah, I'm not going to uh, so, say yeah. why. I'm just going to let people listen to it themselves. Yeah. So this was. I think Apple's about to announce a black MacBook Pro. Oh. <laughs> oh baby, it's gonna be it's gonna be so black. <gasps> Oh, it's my, my keyboard. Uh, oh, oh, my God. Oh, yes. Yes, baby. Oh, oh my God. That's so fucking hot. Jesus. I think Apple's about to announce a black MacBook Pro. Jesus, Sam. I hope you're proud of yourself. Bro really likes it black. Sound has potential. Yeah. Oh, you, oh. You're glazing. Bro just came. What do you mean by so black? Left by apparently a black commenter. It's a good question. Uh, <laughs> top tier glazing is isn't it literally space gray? It's it's not. Saving this audio for later. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, there's there's been a few people that have made a couple uh, videos to the sound. Oh, uh, no. We've got a couple. We've got a baby. I think Apple's about to announce a black oh. MacBook Pro. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Dude, oh, what baby, is TikTok be... is not okay. No. Oh. Somebody did it to their bike. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh baby, it's gonna be it's gonna be so black. <laughs> <laughs> it was really fun. Oh uh, my god. What a thing I, that I gotta be honest, it was fun to wake up and I was like, damn, that's cool. Like I just I love people like my mission is I have to a, get I have a question, a bit of inside stuff. baseball. Yeah. Was that your live reaction or did you back it up a little bit so you no. could so fun fact, that was – I literally pulled my phone out as fast as I could and hit record. Damn, with impressive. Uh, and that that was – and I've realized, John, something about me is like I am a chronic – You think in content. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say I, I overthink everything. Like people don't know this, but like just to get the first sentence done of my videos, it, usually, it can take me up to 45 minutes to get the first sentence mm. decided yeah. for recording. And I've realized – the first take is always usually the best one. I have noticed that too. Yeah, usually the best. And like, yes, I can perfect it, but it's like, is it really worth the extra 30 minutes to go from like 90% on? Yeah, like it, people and, won't even know. Yeah. So I think, I, I don't know, this this kind of proved to me that like, I know if I would have overthought this to try to get the perfect reaction, it, it would have been worse. It probably wouldn't have done well. But uh-huh. I think it's just like, no, that is me. That is Unironically, I was screaming in my house when I saw that MacBook Pro because I have wanted to see a black MacBook Pro every <laughs> year since 2016. I've been waiting. You are a special lad. I wish I, was so I wish excited. anything made me that excited. <laughs> Dude, I was so hyped, man. You still I, are. I am. I'm still so excited. You still I'm going. Oh, bro, bro, it's black. Yes, I ordered it. Yes, I got black. Oh, how, I love hey, black. Hey, but the, love, the question of the black. hour. We love black. How many gigabytes of RAM? 128 gigs. You would, dude. You would. You would. 128 gigs. They w- they wouldn't let me get 96 again, so I said, fine. Touche, Tim. Is that let what you said? You my, let me show you my con- my configuration. Well, after... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. So, small little minor note. Uh, the... 
13 inch MacBook Pro is dead. At least for now, the the one that still had the old design with the touch bar and looked like ass. I always had a problem with that. I always had a problem that there was a base model MacBook Pro. Like I feel like you, you, if you're going to spend MacBook Pro money, just buy MacBook Pro. If not, buy a MacBook Air. Uh, so there was no place in my heart or at the dinner table for the 13-inch MacBook Pro. They See, killed I... that, but sort of reintroduced a new base model MacBook Pro because now the 14 and 16-inch... Uh, does the 16-inch come with M3 too? Can you configure it with just M3? Uh, no, only the 14-inch. Okay, so 14-inch with the new design, the notch and all, has the new MacBook Pro design, but you can now buy it. You don't have to just pick between the M3 Pro and M3 Max. You can just get the M3 chip. Still think that's silly. I still think a base model MacBook Pro is silly, but at least it doesn't look old and terrible. So this is my config. I got 16-inch MacBook Pro in space. You're not showing box. it, by the way. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're so real for that. I know. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> let's go back. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got uh So here, here is my problem. Tell me your problem. Let's talk about our problems I right now. You need more than 64, but 128 is too much. Where is like 90? You need more than 64? I mean, I, I don't know. Do I? Let's see what Apple says. No, Sam. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. I 24 gigs or more of RAM you should get if you typically work on advanced project f files that require enormous files and content libraries. I do. Okay, so that sounds like 64 gigs is fine. Oh, why do they say professional vid video editing falls into 16 gigs? Because that's what I have been trying to tell you for years, dude. We do not need what you think we need. You're should a silly, I, silly boy. Yes, yeah, of course you should have. Well, the tax write-off is higher, and the IRS doesn't need to know that I don't use the 128, so. Well, they know now. Report him! <laughs> Report oh, him! There's that's, that's there's footage! So okay. this is the most interesting, like you said, though, is the base one. Okay, what about it? 1600 bucks for an M3 MacBook yeah. Pro. Yeah. Your 20 hertz ProMotion? Dude, that's a good deal. It is, uh... Oh, yeah, they don't even... The 13-inch is literally not an option. It is gone. Yeah, no, it's you can't even You can't even fuck around. It's They just will not let you. And listen, if you want 16 gigs of RAM, you know, look, it's 200 bucks. 1,800 bucks. <laughs> look. I, I, don't, I don't think that that's too bad. Five, okay, now, a MacBook 12. Pro with 8 gigabytes of RAM should not exist. I will say that. That's ridiculous. <sighs> No, not a MacBook yeah, Pro. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I agree. I agree. Agreed. Okay. They're just yeah. doing that so the starting price looks small. And but you know it cost Apple anything. Dude, it is again. If you're gonna spend MacBook Pro money, or if that's what you're in the market for, I'm s I don't even consider an like a base model M three with eight gigs of RAM, I don't consider that a MacBook Pro. It depends how you look at it. If you look at it from a power perspective, then no. But if you look at it Isn't from that the, the whole point? From the build, from the design, from the screen. I yeah, the screen. The whole the point is the the power. I, I disagree. I, I don't think the power is the entire point. I think that's I know, a, but to you the color is the point. So you're not a good person to give advice. Dude, shut up. <laughs> you're, come on. you wait, did you not order anything? No, 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 no. Oh fuck. Sorry, my hair's caught on my microphone. You didn't know you didn't order the black? No. No. I use I use a MacBook Air. Yeah, you look like somebody that uses a MacBook Air. Beautiful? What are you a trying dumb, to say? Dumbass blonde. I can say that because I'm blonde, right? Isn't that I, how it works? I, I think. You mean all blonde, not just blonde just women, right? Now I'm, I don't know. I think I'm not it's fine. You're a woman, just because you're blonde. I think I'm it's fine. Blonde. And plus, can, they, can anyone really cancel you when you look like this? Like, can we even prove that's Sam? I don't think so. Exactly. Minus the song that he sang about being Sam in the beginning, but that's beside the point. Lyrics, dude. Um, have you seen my pearl necklace? It's beautiful. Oh no, I actually missed the pearls. Wait, you really went, dude? You look really good. So you just threw that together out of like prayers and feelings today. Oh yeah, uh, this this came together like t t a half hour before the show. Did you order like just the parts and get it delivered, or did you? No, go I went. 
I went. You like yeah. went to store for me? Oh yeah, I com- I I was committed to the bit. Oh wait, that I mean, it's not a bit. Cool. It is. It's you. It's me. you're Barbie. I am. Okay. Uh, I don't know personally. Even with eight gigabytes of RAM, I still think that sixteen hundred is a. The fact. Well, okay, let's just look. So it's sixteen hundred for a base MacBook Pro. Okay. You're getting a hundred twenty hertz Pro Motion, which I feel like a lot of people care about. That's really cool. Uh, a 15 inch base is so you're paying three hundred dollars more for promotion and ports. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, what? Where are you right now? I'm on the 15 inch MacBook Pro page, MacBook Air page. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Oh, did you think the MacBook Pro was cheaper? <laughs> no. Well, when I saw, I was like, wait, how did I thought for a second you found the 13 inch MacBook Pro? No, no, no it's gone. Not. Okay. 15 inch air. You're on the MacBook which... Air. Never mind. Disregard. <sighs> yeah, man. Mm. No, when uh, I I am, well, I wouldn't say I'm loyal to the MacBook Air. I'm just, that's what works for me. I am loyal just... to the Mac Studio, though. So it's like when mm. it, that, that's what's hard. It's when they announce this stuff and you have the urge of like, oh, I could just get that right now. But if I just wait a few months, I can get the M3 Ultra in a Mac Studio in the perfect kind of Mac. So then I I will just I'm going to show some self control here. I wonder when M let's see. Yeah, I guess it'd probably be what June. June again. Or wait, would it be March this time? For what? For M3 Ultra. It I feel M1 Ultra was announced in March after yeah. they announced it in November. Yes. And since we're sort of back on so that So I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be earlier in the year. Oof. Yeah, I mean, honestly, now that like all the other chips are out, would you okay? Would you reg- okay if M3 Ultra comes out at the beginning of the year next year? Are you going to regret this purchase? No, Probably no, because you're Sam. No, no, because I need um, I need uh, you know, I need uh, the best on the mobile. Every ended. second counts when you're in Australia or whatever you said. It, dude, it actually <laughs> does though, and I, you're a silly boy. I appreciate the power and I use it and I'm telling you, you right push- now <laughs> that motherfucker is Wait, if I real. put my hair up in a ponytail No, uh, I can't pull it off. Um I don't know, man. My dress uh, is too tight. Ugh. I just get, so really the You wanna What what color would have made you bought the MacBook Pro? No, no color. I mean if there was gonna be a color yeah. that made me buy it, it would have been it would have been that black color. But it's not about the color, Sam. Do like I don't it? see. I don't see in colors. What Everyone is the same color to me. Black? Huh? What are your thoughts on black things? I think they're like great. Them? All right. I, iMac M3. Yep. IMac. No new colors. Also, is the stand any different? Mm, Mark Gurman was wrong about this. I wonder. I bet there was a prototype with a tilt and height adjustable stand. And I bet it just didn't make the cut. Same colors, same iMac. It's still just as beautiful. It's a great <laughs> computer. God, d- dude. Th- okay. Like, I was pretty tempted to buy a MacBook Pro. <laughs> but even looking at this, I'm like, do I, I think I need another one. You can get a kitchen iMac. Like, I've always wanted the silver one. That's where my, that's, yeah, I have my blue one in there. See, it's it's funny because I've been looking at like the orange or the purple, but so mm. I, I, um, I bought the products. I will have some day one coverage on the new colors and the new, okay. new stuff. Um, but I saw, and this really made me sad. I wanted to get like, get it. I really kind of wanted the yellow and there's no in-store pickup available for any, but the four default colors. Didn't you have a yellow one? No, I've only had silver and blue and at different oh. points. I have always wished that I bought the silver one. I mean, dude, yeah, the silver is insanely clean. But also, I, I'm i a little disappointed by the iMac update. Okay, uh, tell me why. I just, I wanted a new color. I wanted okay. some new Magic accessories because I, I genuinely would have bought new Magic accessories from my Mac Studio if they had USB-C because then I could have- But they, one- don't let you do, they don't let you buy new accessories from the, Macs, from the, uh, from the iMac. Well- Yes, but when they when they released the like Mac Studio um, in twenty twenty two, when did the Mac Studio come out? Was that twenty twenty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those. Yeah, they don't do that for the iMac though, because it's yeah, all in one. When they released the M one iMac in April, they released a new Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. 
that anyone could buy. Mm, okay. So I was hoping, and uh, okay. Yeah, they're all still lightning. Right? You agree that's unacceptable? That, it, well, yeah, yeah, it's unacceptable. But also, like, I was pretty sure because of those leaks that, like, what? Yeah. Okay, if if we just got iMac and it still has lightning accessories with lightning cables, what the hell were those color-matched cables for? Did they have USB-C? What were those for? Maybe they just fake. Maybe somebody just made color man. match cable. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I really got on the Sam's right about this train. And look where me it got too. me. It got me looking like this. But you know what I was right about? What, what, what were you people, right about? People forget I bet my channel on M3 coming out, so we're good. Okay, well, shocker. There were a lot of people saying M3 wasn't going to come out. Why would they say that? I don't know, because they don't watch Genius Bar, John. People are silly. That's what I've learned a lot in the last 24 hours. People yes. are absolute. What oh, did yeah, we that say? Was real. I was like, that, as soon as I saw that wallpaper, I was like, that's authentic. Yeah. I could just put it in my and, bones. And just as our uh, research on Genius Bar last week indicated, it is a notch up there. And it's the same size. Oh, I was also. <sighs> You're not upset so about that, are you? I'm a little upset about Come it. Come on. A few parts of this event that frustrated me because I was like, with the event, we'll at least get like <sighs> smaller notch. No, no smaller notch. Did we get, you know, Wi Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3? Those came on both new Macs. It was already on the M2 Max, so it just carried over to M3 Max on the MacBook Pro and it came to the iMac. That is nice. Like, better Bluetooth is actually a big deal for like connectivity and range. That's yep. a nice trade. Uh, I, I wanted. Apple used to be really good at making small changes feel like a big deal. And I, I just feel like they missed the mark a bit this time. Like no new magic accessories. That's a small thing that a lot of people I think would have appreciated. Are they, are they, is that really happening? Or are you just becoming jaded because this is like your 33rd year doing this? No, I think I, I don't think I'm like, they've done it almost every other time. <laughs> like I, yeah. I think that that was I think now that I'm accepting that maybe this event was just for spooky season and just to have a little bit of fun uh, and to shoot it on iPhone, which we'll talk about. But other than that, I don't think... I think we were all just wrong and all set our expectations a little too high, unfortunately. And well, I got the real vibe from... Which, again, not a surprise. We knew this. But in, with Tim Cook closing out the event, he really made yeah. it sound like that's it for the year. They're saying goodbye for the year. We'll see you next year sort of deal. And no Vision Pro mention at all. No, no. Could not believe that. Could well, not that's believe because that. the next time you mention it, dude, you got it's got to be ready because we're getting close to that time where you said it was coming. Yeah. So, I mean, look at the Apple event. Let's see how it performed, right? Uh, I, I'm having a hard time reading because I don't have my glasses. That, that's 6.6 6. 6 million views. So 7 million views in a day. So it looks like they did number run. one on trending. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, but to me, if... none of that means anything. So I, I just they can put so much the... advertising. They can just put that as a YouTube ad and rack up views. It, those don't mean anything oh, to me. I'm saying I don't think that they are because the views are not like 30 million. You know, it was crazy. But I'm like, if we look back at Apple's October 18th event where they announced a lot, including the M1 MacBook Pro, like big update. Mm -hmm. Basically, they got the same amount of views, dude. And they announced a quarter of the things. Well, that's what I'm saying. But the event, it was the spectacle of the event that was, I think. And did you see that there was an in-person component in New York? Yep. But we knew that, sort of, kind of. No, maybe. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. I'm just saying stuff. Yeah, Mark Gurman said that there was an in-person part in okay. New York. Days ago. Right. <laughs> Why you always talk weird about this. <laughs> um, yeah, so if we go to, let's see, who made a good video about it? Um, Nobody. Oh, I want to. I want to bring this up. The Verge. I have never seen Apple do this in their history. They got early access to these products before they were announced. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as soon as I saw the way this was shot, look, look where he's at. He's in a studio. He and is. I'm like, whoa, whoa. And he put this out minutes after they were announced. So I'm like, there is no way you could sit down and edit a long form video yeah. with editorial standards. 
And sure enough, in this video, he says Apple gave us access to these before the event. Interesting. Yeah, that does not happen. Um, the yeah. Verge and Apple have been close historically, but I don't. Yeah, you're right. I don't remember them getting just straight up early access. Like never, this. never has Apple given them. That's like a Samsung type thing to let them Dude, record. Imagine the imagine the event hasn't happened yet, and you have all this footage of all these products. That had to be so hard. Yeah, and uh, you know, I didn't get the invite this time, Apple, but just know that I'm patiently waiting. Um, I mean, you see how how fun our Apple podcast is, so yeah. I mean, just because you know, personally, I. Uh, I mean, uh, let l- hang on, go back to where the guy who's the host here. Do you know Dan Seifert? Who Dan Seifert? Okay, well, look at Dan, and look at us. Who would you yes. rather give early access to? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Dan's Dan's dressed normal. Well, I would have dressed normally if they would have had me. I wouldn't have come as Ken. No, no, no. I'm saying you, the I would give it to us. Oh, I thought you were saying like we're too silly. No, yeah. you want to just give it to some guy I guess or us. Grand risk, I guess. What is risky about this? We well, this most, looks like yeah. a very inclusive podcast currently. I mean, sure it is. It's one of the you're one of you, you dressing like that is the third woman we've had on the show. <laughs> Not because we don't want to. There's just oh my god, that's so funny. I want to have more women on. Actually, no, you're the second. I think Sarah. Yeah, Dinci's it's just second. Sarah and me, dude. And, and Sarah coming back next week, confirmed to be happening. We are genius bar confirmed next week. I promise I won't look like this. No, we're gonna look even worse than that. But yeah, oh my! I just got a stuff. glimpse of my the, like the side. You look bad, like. I look like a bad bitch. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just, me being myself aside, you really think that the iMac shouldn't have had anything else in two plus years? No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I'm not like offended. Like it makes sense to me. This is a perfect family computer. Perfect. It's just not the iMac specifically. I mean, it's sort of always been this way, but specifically with This new design, it just feels like a different... It's for a different set of people. All-in-ones always sort of have been, but... uh, Oh, John, you're going to kill me. Why? Why? My audio is recording your audio. Yep, I am going to kill you. I am absolutely going to kill you. Um, That's unfortunate. I think it'll be fine, but I don't know. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I can work magic. Look at me. I Actually, yeah, because my, my audio is pretty quiet and yours is like pretty loud. So I think it might be easy to like, I don't know, do some witchery or something. I can do some witchery. Um, so that was the event, man. 33 minutes. And then at the end, they dropped the bomb. The bomb. Which, I don't know if you've seen my video, but that I, I talked I, about my three favorite announcements of the event. And number one was that it was shot on iPhone. Yeah, so Apple last night accidentally published this thing and then they like privated it because I don't think it was supposed to drop until this morning Um, and Ian Zelbo found it and then other people shared it and I found it. So they announced at the very end on the last slide, Tim Cook, after he signs off and says goodbye, it just goes to black and it says... There we go. Wait for it. Da, 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 Clouds da, go da, away. Da, cuts to black. Da, bottom of the screen. Keep your eye on. Bad. There it is. The event was shot on iPhone and edited on Mac. And everybody's all, like, whoa. All what? presenters, locations, and drone footage was shot on iPhone. So everybody's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. What just happened? And Apple shared a behind the scenes that I will say is one of the coolest things they've ever published on their YouTube channel. Yeah. It's like we have been. <sighs> We have been wanting this, like as creators. We, you and I, talk about this all the time. Like, how the fuck do they do this? And uh, the behind the scenes thing is obviously, you know, just to show off that they shot it on iPhone. But for the, but to see the rest of it is also super cool, dude. I mean, I maybe I'm dumb, and I definitely am when I say this. Just to be clear, I am dumb. You don't look it. I didn't think there were that many people involved in recording one of these. Are you all right? 
Dude, I genuinely thought it was like two camera guys. No, dude. They've got... Ev- this is like full-on production. Every every part of the production team is handled. It's not like just one person telling everyone what to do. There's directors for everything. There's there's DPs. There's Tim. Yeah, I mean, there's sound re- engineers. There, everything, literally everything. And then there there's there. Okay, just that one shot alone. There's a whole team dedicated to knowing how to run that robot, that oh, machine. Yeah. And the drone, and then they show yeah. you USB on the iPhone 15 Pro. Like, my other question, though. Okay. And I'm just throwing this out there. I'm not saying anybody should do this. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh God. If I live by Apple Park, right? It's very residential. Yeah. Why doesn't anybody ever like fly their drone up at night around? August September timeline. Well, uh, first you'd have to know when they're shooting and that they are shooting. This it didn't leak like the by the time we heard that there was going to be an October event, it was already long shot and and handled. But, like, but I thought about that too. People. Like I feel like you could see cars going in and out of Apple Park, like you know, crews and stuff. I feel like I yeah, I would love a deeper dive on how just just the secrecy of everything. I would love to see how they yeah. lock that down. Because there was a lot of people on that team, and I'm like, you're telling me like the runner that just saw Tim Cook be like, it has 12 cores in the M3. You're telling me like he... Well, all the people that are there are extremely trusted. I And probably get paid a lot of money to not say anything. I look like a trusted guy. Yeah, clearly. Um, Okay, the controversy, because imagine that there's controversy around this. Is this even worth talking about? Yes, dude? absolutely it's worth talking. That's what everyone's talking about. And sometimes it takes two grown-ass men, <laughs> two grown-ass men. What the hell is going on? Oh, it's two TikTokers trying to FaceTime me. Oh, tell them, tell them no. Uh, okay. okay. So the controversy is, especially with people... Oh, no, I'm losing my hair. Especially with people um, seeing the the behind-the-scenes stuff. Shot on iPhone, they're like, yeah, shot on iPhone, but with, like, all this expensive equipment. And I don't know if people just don't know how video production works. Like, I, I wonder if they... I wonder if in their head they think, oh, with a professional camera, you don't need all these lights. If you just had a professional camera... You wouldn't need all these lights. You wouldn't need gimbals. You wouldn't need this whole crew. To them, it's like all these lights and all this equipment is just there to make up for the fact that they only have an iPhone. And that is not at all what's happening. The it, Like even Shrimp Apple Pro on Twitter, um, I had said, you know, I put out a tweet about this, like mm-hmm. how incredible this was. And I, you know, shared a picture from the from the behind the scenes, like one of the behind the scenes photos. And it had the two giant led lights on Tim. Yeah. And he's like, well, those lights are like, first of all, I don't know how he found this, but he's like, those lights are like 50, $57,000 to me. That makes it even more impressive that they, they are capable and willing to spend this sort of money on this equipment and still opted to use a $1,200 phone. Yeah. Like they have all the money in the world and they, to, it's so impressive seeing them walk the walk because they're telling they're telling you, especially in the last at the iPhone 15 event, you can use this professionally, and they're just doing it. And they didn't say it. It wasn't like a thing that Tim Cook said at the beginning of the of the event. It wasn't made as a big big thing. It wasn't a gimmick. It wasn't part of the event until after you watched it. And this was after in my head and probably a lot a few times I was like, this looks incredible. Like. The, the amount of production that went into this, obviously, there's a bunch of CGI going on. Obviously, yeah. there's grading and editing in Final Cut. I would imagine it was shot it's in cool. log. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, obviously, but that's how any video production works. If you shot that with a full-on cinema camera, you would still put it in Final Cut. You would still put a grade on it. You would still use all this equipment, the same lights. If anything, this is less equipment because you don't have a giant camera rig. It's just... Whatever you got, like, if they're using a gimbal, maybe they used a couple lenses, and a fucking phone, dude. That's wild. I don't think they used any, like, add-on lenses, I saw, I saw, I don't know, it could, I don't know exactly what shot it was for, but they had a pretty big telephoto lens with, like, just an iPhone looking through it. 
And they yeah. used, uh, for anyone wondering, they used a free app to record it. They didn't use the default camera app. They used the Black Magic app, I believe, but it's free. And they recorded to SSDs because you can do that on the iPhone 15 yeah. now. Like, knowing that, if you go back and you overanalyze stuff, you can identify stuff that looks like it was recorded on a phone. But the point <laughs> yeah, is, yeah, notice. yeah, at first you don't, you, I didn't question any of the shots that I saw. And out of any event to use an iPhone to shoot the whole thing, one that is at night? Yeah, that was Where crazy. all the rooms are dark, it's all low light, like, that. that's insane, dude. The level of confidence that they, and... At least from how it looks behind the scenes, like there wasn't really a backup plan. Like they were sure this was going to work. I'm sure there was yeah. a team that had already tested this for them before yeah, they went yeah. and shot the whole thing. But it's just that's incredible. I don't understand how in any universe this could be controversial. It is nothing but cool that we can do that at this point. Yeah, the fact. That... Yeah, I don't take I'll, it from I'll... me. Share this yeah, clip. What... Everyone will take what... this seriously. Well, like when people say shot on iPhone, what do they want Tim Cook to do? Do a green screen TikTok like me and be like, this yeah. is the new MacBook Pro. Like, yeah, well, they're so like, I, no. They're like, shot on iPhone is false advertising. And I just can't wrap my brain it's around not. how that's false advertising. Like, it, Apple did not say this was shot on iPhone. You can do it too. Like, you can shoot an event that looks just like, no, of course there's lights and of course there's all this stuff. Yeah, but the sensor like that was shoot. used to record the whole thing is just a phone. Yeah, no, that's crazy. And the fact that nobody noticed. Not what? one person at all during this event was like, hey, did, is something off about it? It looks kind of weird this time. Nobody said no. anything. Honestly, I was like, I actually like like the depth of field and stuff I had noticed on shots. I was like, I think it looks cool. And yeah, yeah mind-blowing. They Let me pull up the newsroom page where they share some like stills and stuff. It, it's pretty cool. Like uh, uh, kind of what I said in the video – in, in front page tech, it's like even even for the Mac event, the star of the show was still iPhone to me. Is that an Atmos recorder? Uh, I can't tell. So look at that rig, bro. It might have been a Black Magic uh, recorder. I'm not sure. Dude, what is this thing? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like I use my they, th this, but this does not exist because they're just using an iPhone. That's what people don't realize. They would still use that. They would just rig up a massive camera, whatever camera they're going to use, it because that's what handles yeah. the smooth motion of everything. They're not using that because they're using an iPhone. <sighs> I wish I could... Oh, I, just I gotta say, see, people. seeing this with like the light on top, dude... I'm so excited for our studio. Bro, seeing the rover, like there's a shot in that video of a rover just speeding through, and I know exactly what transition that was, dude. And mm. just it clicking in my head that that was, uh, that was mostly practical. Like I'm sure there's a lot of CGI and there's a lot of trickery going on, but to see them drive a rover through the tunnel, spinning it like it did in the actual transition is crazy. Yeah, man. I mean, it, it amazing. Yeah, anybody. If anything, they like, could probably do transitions a lot cleaner and easier because the thing they're using to record is much smaller and more portable. Yeah. No, I mean, very, very cool. <laughs> like, very, very, very cool. And uh, yeah, honestly, I hate to say it, but like, that's kind of like my biggest takeaway from the event is like, damn, the iPhone is like really. Yeah. I mean, we've known, we've known iPhone video is the best, though. Like, it's just not. Even I know, close. but there's such a level. There's such a difference between them saying hey, the iPhone camera is really good and we think professionals can use it. And them actually using it. Yeah, that's pretty like, cool. Like Apple, with the m amount of money they are worth, would and how important these events are, would not fuck around. Like they're not... And the fact that they're willing to do this and put that much faith in an iPhone to record this event... Here's a question, Sam. Okay. Now that they've done this, do you think they can ever go back to not using an iPhone? Oh, like, yeah. Like, if I they mean, don't use an iPhone, do we look at that as like, oh, see, told you it couldn't do it? I think the people that are criti critical of it now would say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I just feel um, like, hey, if you're doing it, if you did it for this one, now you just got to do it for all the events. I feel like all the events have to be shot on an iPhone. Yeah. Not, maybe not 100% of them. Parts. I wish I didn't. I just got to look at myself in the yeah. uh, on the screen and i was a pod lot to process yeah it's a lot to process so i i enjoyed i i mean listen i enjoyed it it was really fun 
It was super spooky. I just spooky vibes were great. I don't know. And yeah, you know, some of the last minute rumors for the iPad mini, I got a little excited. I got a little excited. Yeah, we didn't get we didn't we didn't even get time to talk about that because it happened after the last genius bar, but there yes. was like regulatory <laughs> database stuff that came out for iPad Mini, yeah. He uh yeah, it was like battery filings and it yeah, no, no. No iPad no. mini though. It and was no- it went exactly as expected, other than the this whole thing was shot on iPhone moment at the end. That really made the whole event for me. And it was, even though I was not, actually, I feel pretty, like, going in last week, I'm pretty sure on Genius Bar, I said, I'm not excited about the products, but I am excited about the event. And it turned out exactly, I'm very happy with the event. It was the coolest event. It looked so cool. I love, I wish Apple would do more of this. They went spookier than I thought they were going to go. I thought they were going to be more subtle. The, the theming was awesome. Like, dude, literally, like, I was smiling ear to ear with the bats at the intro. It was so good, dude. The, yeah, the opening shots awesome. were like, and that was like a perfect intro to like, okay, this is what you're about to see. Just straight into spookiness. And yeah, I, and it made so all good. the sets look scarier and, and, and darker. And yeah, I, yeah I mean, set design is something I've like been, you know, as we've been like talking about getting maybe a spot spot for the pod or a something. Spot. Well, yeah, like I, mean, I, I am very excited for the set design for our show. And it, I, I just think a theory that I have is I think that's like the next step of like YouTube videos. I think now everybody has a camera and the things that can start differentiating people is like, Oh, uh, that's a good point. And, uh, I mean, because, I've, I've got, because it's so accessible now. Yeah. I, I think you're going to start needing to differentiate yourself when people click and see that you're yeah. going to be like, I have some. I don't. I can't remember if I've told you some of my plans for what I want to do with my channel, but I. Uh, yeah, I'm very. I'm very excited for like the styles and and ways I shoot stuff, and I. Yeah, I want to make it more than just Sam in front of computer. Yeah. Uh, can you? Can you? You don't have to play the audio, but can you play? Can you go back to the event video and show? Bring us to the first transition away from Tim to Johnny. Yeah. Because this will, this one shot puts so much into perspective when Sam is like, I didn't know this many people worked on this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, go to Tam and then... I know, I know, I know. I know what you're talking about. Yep. Okay. Okay, so audio listeners, I'm sorry. I'll try my best to describe it. So Tim is leaving. He's walking away, and we're starting a transition into the tunnel. Under, We're going under. We're going to go see Johnny, and it... The camera pans in the room, and in real time, the room lights up, but, like, the lighting is choreographed. That looks practical to me. Oh, I wonder if you're right. Let's play it black and slow-mo. Um, so let's start. Like, maybe there might be some CGI in the transition from one place to another to yeah, speed that up. Right. But once they're in the room and the camera pans in, the lights, as planned light up like in a pattern to light up the room. Like everything was meticulously thought out for that to have happened. Some crew had to go in there and replace their real, like industrial lights with production stuff, stuff that can be choreographed and timed. And then there had to be people in there turning lights on. And then that's where they obviously go to CGI to go to the actual space. Yeah. Like there are, but there's, okay. I think this is practical now. Oh, they just fade to black. Wait, maybe, yeah, maybe that is. Like, I think there are people that are, that are manually lighting this room as the camera pans in. Think about the lighting crew just in that shot alone in the three seconds that we just saw. Dude, I want... This yeah, this event definitely left a mark on me where I'm like, I want my space to look like this. And then I was like, wait, good fucking luck. How do I get two billion dollars? <laughs> that's a like, lot I of just, that's a lot I'm of genius bar episodes, my friend. I just want I don't know. I just can people like give me money to like make this stuff? Yeah, go fund me for two billion dollars sounds reasonable. <laughs> Maybe a little bit less. But yeah, I mean just oh, and also, yeah. the, that room is not that dark, right? The walls, are the walls that dark? No, I think or they Or did they did. do something to the walls to... Well, let's see the next transition going oh, out. It looks... This was shot on a fucking phone, dude. Are you serious? Look at it. Oh. Well, it was a, a $200,000 rig. Because yeah, Apple's... Uh-huh. My, my Galaxy S23 can do that if you did the same thing. Good lord. 
Yeah, the S23 would never really shut her like a mother. Like, they th- they are untouchable. No one does events like this. I'm going to be, because it's coming eventually, I'm going to be very sad when we're just back to in-person events with no... Is it coming eventually? I don't I mean... actually think it is. I think, I think this is it forever. You think so? So then, look, okay, like so you then don't think they're fucking tired thing. of doing this, of p- putting this much effort into events? Oh, I'm sure that they are. Okay, so like, that's, these are all practical. Okay, so yeah, this is just yeah. Room this is all they actually have an LED screen in there, yeah. dude. I I want to buy one of those screens. <laughs> you would really, really bad. But okay, could it that's be? that's not just some normal L- LCD screen. That is nuts because you can't see the resolution on that screen has to be crazy. Because you and I, we've seen LED screens and they don't look like that. You can see every individual pixel on those things. How? Not only can you not see pixels behind them, you don't see any artifacting in the in the camera sensor. You also, it seems pretty color accurate as well. Oh, how much? Twenty k. Oh god, twenty six k for LED video wall. Wait, that actually twenty six grand. That actually seems by like eight. Could be the track. Is that sixteen foot Wait, by eight? Dude, foot? they charge you like damn near that much to rent one of these. Yeah, you're telling me I could buy it and own it for twenty. That's like, I mean, that's, LED it, Nation it's USA dot com. Thirty day returns. More details. They have so Reviews. many. They have an. They have a nine thousand dollar one. Really? On the way on the right, oh, LED video so, wall, nine and a half by six. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. This is crazy. I really want one of these though. Um. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's go back to reality. Oh, yeah, I wasn't I, screen. This That's- is just uh, like when I I don't th- I have calmed down from this idea. But when I first saw the like the first thirty seconds, it felt like their swan song, like it felt like the last virtual event. Because and I'm not saying it is. I'm not making that prediction. It just felt like they went all out in terms of production this time, and that's no. after they slowed down a bit. Their la- their their first virtual event, like the Dub Dub one, went so hard. They went so hard, and then for each one, it's still incredible. It's still Apple, and their standard their standards are very high. But the transitions became a little bit less. They were trying a little bit less. And then this felt like they were just putting everything into it. It almost felt like the last virtual event. Because if it is, that'd be a good one to go out on. No, there's no way. You don't think so? Oh, we're there's looking no. at... Oh, yeah. it's on sale right now. Got to yeah. get it then. 24-month warranty. That didn't feel long enough for that. It's indoor, baby. Oh, man. How do people get only so this much- podcast like, or would you dude, find I don't us? Know. I feel like like, listen, we're really lucky to like have we make like a good living, but I feel like there's a difference. And this is something I've talked to Luke Miani about, actually, like we're trying to figure out how to get from like at the end of the day, we're all just guys in our room talking to a camera by ourselves. How do we go from here to like Mr. Who's the boss or here to Marquez? Like, how do we? What's this? What are we missing to like get the resources to be able to do? It's, it's just timing. They were they were first and early. I know. I just I just I like. There's so much I want to do, and it's like at the end of the day, like I want a team of ten to twenty render artists that just make renders all day for me. That sounds. But like that hell. costs. Would you even have that much to render? Thousand dollars a month. You'd be surprised. There's only one iPhone. <laughs> That's not just iPhones we want to do. And my point being, like, I want to, like, do more. And I just, like, I don't, like, with taxes and stuff, I just, I don't have enough money to, like, do stuff, man. I don't know. Like, I'm really lucky and I, I just want to do more, you know? I, I feel constrained still. It's like the, it's the, a battle I've are been you, fighting. Are you, uh... And I save money as well. Like I'm not only blown on the Balenciaga and stuff. Like yeah, I treat myself sometimes. But are you further along this year than you were last year? Yeah, I mean I have an employee. Okay, then, then that's all we need. Sometimes you just gotta take the wins when you get them. I'm trying to make sure my boobs don't fall out. I just gave him a little raise again, just a little baby one. Little baby raise. Yeah, I'm trying to trying Sweet to get up. baby raise. He's probably watching this and he's like, I haven't gotten a raise yet, and he'll. He'll realize 
actually, this is your time to text me and be like, this "Hey, where he finds out." Send it to you. Yeah, I don't know. Do you? Uh, I don't know. Do you? Do you feel like? Do you feel that same way? Do you feel constrained by like resources, or do you feel like you're kind of everything you want to do is? Mm-mm. No, I guess I feel con- I feel constrained by. Uh, no, I, I feel more creatively constrained. Like there's stuff that I want to make, or a new way of making things that I just haven't stumbled upon yet. Like I, mm. I'm at a point where I'm not burnt out, like not even close. But I just, I'm looking for that. Okay, ten years of FPT just happened. What do the next ten years look like? I don't think that's an LED wall <laughs> yet. <laughs> I think for me, that's an interesting way to look at it. And maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe I should try to be more creative. I, for for me, it's for me, it's I'm able to achieve higher levels of creativity by a higher production standard because I feel like my production standard is pretty bad. Still, I mean, it's fine, yeah. but I, I like I I've told you some of my ideas, and the one idea. After seeing this event, I'm doing it this year. I've decided you are going to see a video from me this probably early September, unlike anything anyone has ever done on the on the internet. I know this, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. Can There's confirm. another idea that I'm also working on that is also something no one has ever done. I know this one too. I think. So like I just I'm trying guys. Don't think that I just make leaks and rumors videos and like trust me. I I just spent some money this week on some things that John knows about. Some money is not the wording it'll, it'll for be, that. It will be fun to do the reveal. You did not spend some final. money. You spent money. Yeah, but it's but it's not on like You're dumb halfway stuff to an center. LED wall, bro. But you, you, I bought it for work, right? Like yeah, I bought so it. An LED walls for work too. Oh, God. I know, but I'm just saying, like when people are like, "Oh, rich YouTuber probably spends it on Balenciaga," it's like, no, no, I'm not. Like the, when I'm spending real cash, it's for work and for content for people because I want to. I want to. I want to be him. You I want to be you him. Are, you look like him. <laughs> I want to be her. You are her. Clearly. Look, my thing didn't pop off because I held it. Um, I don't know, man. Any any other thoughts? How long have we been going? I can't even see. An hour and twenty minutes. Wow. And we haven't and we even done our ads, ads yet. Yeah. yeah. We um, yeah we for a little behind the scenes baseball. We usually do ads before we go into the actual show, but this week we hadn't really seen each other, and so we wanted that to be uh, an actual genuine reveal. So we didn't, and now we did the show first, and now we got to do the ads. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think. Is there yeah? Is there any other thoughts for the event? I mean, not really. I think we've covered. It's exactly what we expected. Um, Yeah. At the end of the day, (sighs) I'm not like this is one of those events, and it doesn't happen very often. But things went exactly as we said it would. Yeah. Um, And I think if we're disappointed, it's it's kind of our fault. We knew exactly what was coming, and we still let our expectations get a little too high. You know, that's you don't agree. That's fair. The only thing I, that I will side I with you on is like it, Apple yeah. was pushing this, like they knew, like that they had something cool. And but they did. we all, they we did. all, yeah, we always got to remember that Apple is coming at this from the angle of pretending like their leaks and rumors don't exist. Yeah, you know, they still have to. Just because Mark Gurman said a thing, that doesn't count as marketing, right? They still have to do their own marketing and go go about this as if no one knows. Yeah. Because the majority of people don't know. We're just losers, dude. Look at us. And Apple, can I please come to next event, please? Look at this man. He's so he's he looks so soft right now. Please, Apple, can I please come? Oh, before we go, can I ask you what the fuck is going on with your AirPods Max? Like, what is happening up there? Oh yeah. (laughs) Can you like tilt your head down so we can see? How I was boycotting them. Yeah. Now they are atrocious. What happened, Sam? No, dude, I fixed them. I what figured it out. What do you mean you fixed, remember, fixed remember them with like thought, sports tape? What is remember that? Remember how I thought this was the answer? It was a black because Apple messed up the headbands and Apple should do a refund program for the headbands. Let me just be clear. I'd still like to come to the event, but you really messed up the engineer <laughs> in these $550 headphones and I'm not going to let that slide like other YouTubers. I'm just saying. Okay. You know. He's not gonna. 
Where are the other YouTubers? You know what? No, it's. I can, it's I'll, be the, I'll be one of the. I'll be. I'm not on your side. It's not. I'm not. It, it, it's I'm not, on your side. No, I just. I need to be. But I need to be nice to people because I'm starting to get a bad reputation. And I need. Wait, uh, you're just, getting a bad uh, reputation from who? Friendly. Anyway, these are the AirPods, and this. I'm not gonna be able to hear you for a second. So let me just show you. So this is a plastic, like rubber piece. Yeah, it is. It wraps around, and it essentially creates a faux headband. Let me try to show mm. you. Like, see how there's a bounce again to it. It it just yeah. like wraps around perfectly, and it was like ten bucks. I'll actually leave this in the description for anybody that wants it because um, it's a like it's honestly made these wearable again. But I realized after I got it, I was like, wait, why did I get green? I should have gotten white. So I think I might get like a white. But it part. looks bad. Oh, yeah. No, I know it makes it look like $10 headphones. But like um, they are barely, they're just I held refuse, together barely. I refuse to buy new AirPods. Oh, fuck. Some That's people are at my door, dude. I can oh, hear trick or treaters outside. Are you going to? I can't. There's a bunch of children, dude. I can't answer the door like this. This is how people go to jail. It, there's a bunch of little girls outside. If I answer the door like this, it's over. Oh, dude, I I can't. I'm sorry. If kids, if you ever grow up and see this, and you know that you were at my door, I'm very sorry. But know that I saved you a lot of trouble in your life by not answering the door like this. Real, Look at really, me, dude. My eyelashes. Oh, dude, that'd be really terrifying. You saved yourself a lot of trouble. <laughs> I would be on a on a list somewhere. Mommy, we went to Mrs. Prosser's house and she touched us. Dude, I look. Yeah, I, no one can answer. I gotta. Yeah, no, don't don't go anywhere within fifty feet of your door. Just have Django. Maybe, yeah. maybe you can dude. If I answer the door right now, I won't be allowed to live near schools. No, for sure not. I'll be on a database somewhere. It'd be terrible. <sighs> okay. Um, scary fast was scary fast. They nailed the name. We knew M three was coming. Yeah. Um, That's yeah, cool. I don't know. I was listening to a lot of other podcasts, and they were just like, "Do you think M three is really going to come?" And I was like, "What do you mean?" Yeah, could you like imagine it, if there was an M three, <laughs> dude? What if if they? Yeah, what if oh, they? Dude. dude, people were trying to tell me Apple was doing this event to put M two in the iMac, a chip that's already been out. My guy, there's no way. The only time that they will do that is for Vision Pro. <laughs> uh, since They'll we're launch Apple, that thing with with a two year old chip. Wait, oh, I don't. I didn't mean to upset you at the end of the show. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> wait, but the M3 has ray tracing. I feel like that would be really important. I f I feel like they're. I feel like they'll. I feel like it'll launch with an M3. It's gotta. It's gotta. It's gotta. I don't think so, Gurman. When when he was talking, if it doesn't, dude, we're gonna have a fucking problem. It, we're gonna have a fucking problem on this show. He said he said he doesn't think it, he said they can't just swap out the chip. That's what German said. German I said. don't care. German said that the stand was going to be different on the iMac, and that is not so. Yeah, he's not. But he's right with everything else. So like, yeah, but he's my. Right. The point is, he's not impenetrable. Inseparable. Yeah, but that's what I meant to say. I don't know why I said impenetrable. Whoops. He probably is penetrable. I, he just okay. Can we go? I gotta get away from everything I'm saying currently. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Guys, this was another episode I, of the Genius I look, I, Listen, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I look pretty penetrable today. Yeah, I'm going to have to find a new partner for the podcast. Um, you we can't love you. That. We love you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you. Penetrable. See, I'm trying to like make it okay what you just said. I, I think my beauty it. speaks for itself. Because it's two white guys doing a podcast, and at the end of the day... We don't uh, know two white guys speak for yourself honey guys thank you for coming to the genius bar let us know what you're dressing up as send in your pictures of your halloween costumes at genius bar cast on x the everything app for all social content should i verify genius bar we should start paying for that absolutely we not to make money back for the one tweet nope. oh oh oh, oh! Pause that fucking music! What? Turn the music off! I can't hear you, the music's too loud. What'd you say? What? You're a fucking bitch. You're an absolute traitor, and I'm glad that I remembered this by the end of the show. 
Last episode on the show on Genius Bar, I said, hey, bro, since the event's at 7, should you and I stream? And yeah, you kind of made a face that made, made people curious, and people were commenting, like, please either stream during the event, before the event, after the event, stream. We want to see you guys stream. So I even asked him, I even asked him a day before the event, hey, bro, you want to, you, you feeling like streaming tomorrow? And he goes, no. He said no. No, no yeah. And then... Must- Yesterday, as I sit down to watch the Apple event, get ready to, like, queue it up, this absolute buffoon, I see Luke Miani is live. And in the little preview, I see Sam. So I click on it, and he's legit on a live stream, the dark mode live stream. He uh, he turned down, denied my request to stream on Genius Bar on our on our channel. And instead was caught in 4K <laughs> streaming I, with Luke Miani instead. He told, all, I will just want everyone to know, he denied you a stream and then went somewhere else and streamed. I didn't do anything. What are you talking about, bro? You're That's right there. Me. That's does you. That, dog, does that look like me right now? Do I, I look anything similar I'm to not that? here to play your reindeer games. I'm here to talk to the people, and the people deserve That's to know that you are a traitor. Me. Dude, it literally says everyone's name. No. Um, who is Mr. Apple? Everyone knows that's you. That's what who you named Mr. yourself Apple? on upon entry. All I know is I was watching the same stream, and this guy got a call from some very angry elf at one point. <sighs> and uh, I'm trying to find this clip because it was very, very interesting when this person got a call. Um, wow. I was – or this person was on here for a while, I mean. Yeah. Uh, it's clearly, Apple. clearly too busy to stream on Genius Bar. I left to go. Whoever How is this person is. on the event? How how did I skip over it? Look, we got Greg's gadgets trying to say some stuff. Yep, try, trying to say some stuff. So I know what happened to my audio too. Can I just wrap up what by saying? Mean? Go ahead. I had to completely reset my roadcaster, so I didn't do the mix. I did the mix all tracks together thing. Yep, that sounds about right. So I need to know how to fix that. Number one. Second of all, I had to restart my roadcaster because. Um, it was like totally broken. Good. So that's I what you get for going it. somewhere else. Do you still have the connect with the new road thing? Uh, yes, I do. I'll send her a, a, a not a text. Uh, okay. What's the I professional like. thing you send? Email. I'll do that. Yeah, I'd like that. With a picture People of myself. Famous. You look very beautiful. Okay, is that actually it? Yeah, I just wanted everyone to know that you oh, uh, you it. absolutely betrayed us all. I, I didn't really betray us oh, all. Oh, no, though. you did. You did. You really I, did. This it's literally not me though. Personally, I that doesn't. I would like everyone to know also that it's six. It's like six thirty. We the show has to go out because we're dressed for Halloween and it is Halloween and it won't be in a few hours. Um, and because it's uh, because I'm going to be in a hurry, I'm going to edit the show like this. So I just want everyone to know that how you see me is how even in private for the next like hour or so. This is what I'm going to look like. Are you doing anything fun for Halloween? No, I'm not doing anything. I'm putting this out. This is I had my fun. I went to a party. What time is it? Oh, it's seven. Is it really seven? Oh, it's probably dark out. Oh, because it gets dark so early. It is dark. Daylight savings time is. Uh, I'm about to go to the gym. Like that? I'm just Ken. Okay. Anywhere else I'd be okay. ten. Okay, we're gone. See you next week. Bye. To okay. live and die alive. No, goodbye. Goodbye. Make it stop.